Welcome back, everyone, to Cook, Serve, Delicious. My name is Bear Taffy. On day 26, we're a two-star restaurant or one-star restaurant? I think it's still a one-star restaurant, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we got a ways to go. We're going to do it, though, man. We're going to make it all the way to the tippy top. Crazy Dave's bet number four. Not bad, not bad. Here's a bet for you. Have all three fried foods on your menu and get a 20 combo today. Cool $600 for that. Oh, man. Do I even have all those? I've got this, this, and that. Okay. I could do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll do it, man. I will take that bet. I'll take that bet in action. We'll get a little bit of a buzz boost from the chicken. Unfortunately, the fries basically take that completely away. But, uh, yeah. That'll be worthwhile. It's combo of 20 today. Having all those fried menu, or, uh, fried options on the menu, that may prove to be a bit more difficult than I'm giving Crazy Dave credit for, so... We have to be uh, a little careful. I'm actually going to take the coffee off and replace it with the fish because I think that's going to help me out a little bit. And, uh, yeah, then maybe we'll call that good. Okay. We're happy with that? Yeah? We got $800 or uh, 800 bucks. I could maybe upgrade one of these things to make a bit more cash today. That's a $3 upgrade. Add sea salt to the menu. I'm going to go ahead and take that one. That's pretty worthwhile to me. Okay. We'll, get, we'll be good. We'll be good there. Start the day off the fried foods. Let's go. Let's go, honey buns. Mm-hmm. Name of our first customer today. Good old honey buns McGoo. It's the uh, the kind of kind of folks you see around a one-star cafe. Schnoz, by the way, <laughs> a few episodes ago <laughs> when I was trying to f figure out the uh, the name of the uh, or the the lesser-known word for the nose. Doesn't make too many appearances anymore in casual conversation, the schnoz. Although it should. Let's be real, it should, man. That's a great word. That's a great word for a great thing. I think I actually need to turn down the mix a little bit. Yeah, ooh yeah, we're getting a little a little up there volume-wise. Apologize for that. That was probably completely inaudible for the entirety of the first half of the episode today. <laughs> Not the first half. I can't do percentages, it doesn't even matter. Also, another word. Do you Beautiful folk finally reminded me of a uh, mnemonic. That's what I was trying to remember. The, the uh, mnemonic devices. The ways in which you remember things uh, by using uh, letters to be associated with other things that you can remember more easily. See, I'm, I'm not even good at describing what a mnemonic device is, but at least now I know what the hell I was trying to even talk about. So that's, that's a bonus, right? I don't feel so dumb anymore. Still feel pretty dumb, but... Not nearly as much. Alright, we're in our first rush hour here. Should be just fine. We're gonna have a lot of sopa pies orders, apparently. Which I'm totally okay with. Oh, golden fried chicken as well. They look very similar. Hash browns look pretty close to these as well. They're all very, very similar fried-looking foods. Which I guess makes sense. Dry stuff and then the dirty stuff right there. Mm-hmm. Thousand house. Give me a thousand houses! And then he gives you a pile of salad. And you're just entirely disappointed. Welcome to Bears Beers, where disappointment's always on the menu. Delicious sopa pias. We've actually managed to get the, uh... To get the... Combo already, so... That's a stressor off my mind, right? That'll do me. Booyah. Gotta love the soup as well, man. We're gonna upgrade this soup pretty soon here. I think I'm gonna actually save up for the soup upgrades, because we can make a killing. Make a killing off of that soup, man. It's really not so bad. In fact, there are so many foods that are way more difficult than the soup. So much stuff, like the... The majority of the specialty... No, okay, not the majority of them. But there's a, quite a few. All I gotta do is chop stuff up, put it in the soup bowl. That thing... That thing's not too bad, but with other ones, you gotta, like, be doing math and stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're doing a 9 to 10 shift as the only employee of a restaurant in a tower that houses thousands. We don't have time to be adding up numbers and stuff. It's bonkers. It's biddly dong bonkers. That's what they say. That's what they call it. In higher society, where we're hoping to aspire to at some point. And if I'm gonna be like them, I gotta talk like them, damn it. My buzz is actually going up pretty significantly right now. 57%? Not bad at all. 
dipping into the uh, rush hour territory pretty soon. We got our first order of the new fries. One fry order with sea salt. Yum, scrittily dumptious. Another uh, high class word choice there. Thank you. I've been working on it. Thick cut sea salt fries. Give you my thick cut sea salt fry. Har, har, har to be har. I'm literally speaking of the food. There's nothing seductive or suggestive about that at all. Not even a little. Not even the slightest bit. Golden fried chicken. Making a decent amount of cash today, I suppose. Hoping for that perfect day again. Here comes rush hour number two. Let's do it. Turned off that uh, notifier, by the way. I'm sure you guys have already realized that. The fact that it's no longer popping up with some kind of ridiculous nonsense. Like, rush hour's here! Did you know? Were you aware? Must we know? Must we inform you again? You must know the good word of our Lord Fishhead. Praised be his fins and dorsal fins and what other parts of a fish are there? I guess the scales. That's another thing we could worship. Perfectly acceptable. Boom. Ooh, things are actually getting a little bit, a little bit scary right now, but... 3,000 is going to round that out just fine. There we go. Another sopa pia sorta. It's going to get us to a combo of 50. Very nice. Going to flush that toilet before it disappears forever. That's what happens if you don't, uh, if you don't flush the toilet, by the way. Your parents will tell you this. You, don't, you won't think they're telling the truth. But if you don't flush the toilet in time, it will disappear and you'll never have a toilet to use again. So make sure you're flushing the toilet immediately, kids. Otherwise, your parents will be out at least half a bath. One sopa pia with sugar. There we are. Send the soup out. Thousand Island cheese, bacon, croutons, onion, peppers, greens, and carrots. Send the soup out as well. See if we can get up to 60 today. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just a couple more. A couple hours to do so. I'm happy. How about 69? Is that too much? That might be too much to ask. Bomga is not too much to ask, Phil. Booyah! Mmm. That feels good. Alright. We only need eight more. Eight more orders in an hour. Can we do it? Can we do it? Let's hope so. There's one. Let's make them out as quickly as I possibly can. Or send them out, rather. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. We're so very close. But still so far away. Half an hour left. Can we get another seven orders? I seriously doubt it. We are gonna get some chores, I guess. That's not really what I was asking for, but I'll take them. There we go, all right. 65. 65, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, that's a good day. Perfect day, even. Very nice. Not bad at all, $625 today. $26 in tips earned. We'll get that $250 bonus, as well as the $600 from Crazy Dave. So we're okay, actually. Making a decent amount of money. 600 bucks from Crazy Dave, and we got another perfect day bonus. Waiting in the email. I was on the news last night. I get a 10% buzz. They were doing some special report on the news about some crazy naked person running around the uh, SS Tower. And they had your restaurant in the background. Nice! Oh, that's how I always wanted to be remembered. Oh, we got another silver ticket as well. Fantastic. I can't do this anymore, man. Seriously, I have to move out. That was the last straw. And we got a couch I can crash on? Please call me. Because my mom said bling bling yesterday. What a world. I have eaten there twice a week at your restaurant, and man, is it ever going to get old? Heck no, it is so delicious. Keep up the great work, y'all, he said, referencing a single person living a cold, sol solidary, solitary life amidst the foods. That's the next uh, Stephen King novel, amidst the foods. Sorry for spoiling that for you. Fish and pizza. Yeah, all right. Sure. We can do that. Take this crap off. Don't need that anymore. Uh, I'm gonna put the burgers back on though. That'll help out. And let's see. Let's do pasta. Yeah. There we go. 62% buzz. Nice. Gonna be a good day. Let's see if we can get some upgrades here. I want to upgrade the soup again. I don't think I can do that just yet though. Can upgrade fish. $15 fish price. Includes the Australian lemons. Hmm. What about the pizza? Six to eight dollars. Five to eight dollars for the burger. Lasagna could be upgraded again and get that up to fifteen dollar menu price. But the salad? Not quite worth it. Hmm. This is actually a pretty uh, cheap upgrade for the lasagna. 
We could throw that on there. Although that usually decreases the buzz. Hmm. Maybe, uh, actually, you know what we should do is save up for the wine. Because the wine is pretty awesome. But then again, there's quite a few other things we could look at first. Let's have a look in here again. Could get the steak or the chicken. Chicken's almost there. I think it's like 1800 yeah. I'm closing in on that one. I think I'll save the money I've got right now, and we'll, uh, we'll buy either the chicken or the steak for next time. For now, let's go ahead and jump into day 27. Here we go! Ooh, that's a big combo. Okay. Alright, we gotta play good today. This is the, uh, this is the real deal. True test of metal. See whether or not we can get a 43 combo today. Goodness. We got a decent, uh, decent buzz percent, so that'll help out a little bit. I nearly forgot the seasoning there. That would've been a really bad start. Yeah, I think this is, uh... If we were to have a day in the last week or so of quick serve delicious serving, this is pretty close to the uh, highest highest level of buzz we've had, so shouldn't be a problem. Really, what it's going to boil down to is whether or not I can have another perfect day. Because if I make a mistake amidst the first rush hour, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of it. I'm not going to be able to recover from dropping uh, 15 or 16 combo. Right at the start. So that perfect day is gonna have to happen today if I want to get that uh, silver ticket bet. Really wasn't the best silver ticket bet either. Honestly, I don't know if I should have taken it. It's only like five hundred dollars. But I suppose if I've got them, I might as well uh, might as well try to use them. So I'm sure the game's gonna keep providing them. I shouldn't I shouldn't try to stockpile silver tickets. Is basically what I'm getting at. Seems like a uh, not terrific idea, I guess. There we go. Okay, that's gone. Get the pizza going. Some chores as well. I think we can take care of all that real fast. There we go. Get the dishes done. That was the cheese, bacon, and croutons. Get the fish going real fast. Send the pizza out and the light to light. This is going okay. Decent amount of orders for the first rush hour. Nothing completely overwhelming, luckily. Meat and lettuce. There we are. Ranch cheese, mushroom, and tomato. Red sauce and meatballs. Mm-hmm. Bonga hype. Oh, yeah. Pepperoni and sausage. Mm-hmm. See, I already had 21 combo. So, again, it's going to boil down to uh, me not screwing something up here. If I can get through this first rush hour without a problem, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel pretty good about it. And I think we just did. So, that's wonderful. Meat, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. So, I can still screw it up pretty easily, of course. But I feel a lot more confident about it now. La -da -da. There we go. Not bad, not bad. We might even be able to hit this combo before the second rush hour, which would be uh, much easier to deal with, of course. There we are. I'm so paranoid of accidentally hitting the button adjacent to the one I'm looking for. It keeps happening. Shouldn't be happening as frequently as it does, but unfortunately, I got some clumsy oafish fingers, man. Nothing much I can do about that. So we're about a dozen away from what we're looking for here. Hope I put those potatoes in. There we go. Send those two out as well. Still got a little bit of lag with uh, transitions between songs, unfortunately. I guess that's just kind of a uh, nature of the bee store deal. Good old basic pepperoni pizza, man. Can't go wrong with that. It's hard to ruin pizza. It really is. You gotta be trying to ruin a pizza. You can make it out of, like, anything. You just take the stuff on your counter after you cook some other meal. You just shove all that down into a topping mix. Still be a pretty good pizza, man. You gotta be really making an effort at it. You gotta, like, put some shoelaces in there. Like a, a mix of your grandparents' hairs. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be ruining pizza for everybody right now. I swear that was not my modus operandi, but... It's already happened. It's already happened, hasn't it? It's already transpired. There's nothing I can do anymore. Apart from hopefully get this combo before the uh, second rush hour hits. And alleviate that stress from everyone, at least. That's the least I can do for all of us, right? Let's do it. 
Let's get it going. Red sauce MKB. There it is. And then just this last fish. It's out the door. We got it, folks. We have got the combo. And one more for good measure, just to make sure. There it is. There it is. All right, so now, of course, the perfect day goal is left intact. Let's see if we can do it again. Bada bing, bada boom. Got a good, uh, good string of days going lately, don't we? Things are pretty, feeling uh, pretty solid with what we're doing. The way things are working out. Cheese, bacon, croutons, and pepper, greens, and carrots, and meat, bacon, cheese, and tomatoes. Get those sent out the door. Mm-hmm. Another house salad. Fantastic. Ooh, chicken noodle. Always good to see a chicken noodle amidst the, uh, amidst the craziness. There we are. Lonely meat patty, uh, cheese, onion, peppers, and uh, veggie pasta. Send out the chicken noodle soup. Pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. Nearly screw that one up. Oh, shoot. Uh, send that out. Okay. Ooh. That was close. Freaked out a little bit there. We are good, though. Uh, there we are. The USO. Nice. Piling up the work trash. Mm-hmm. We actually get a higher combo today than we got yesterday. Fantastic. Well, I guess that makes sense. We had a much higher buzz today. So there we go. Maybe even get that 69. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Today could happen, man. The magic number. I'd be so stoked. Just stoked out of my mind. Unreasonably excited about that. Let's see if... Oh, man. Actually could. Four away. Three away. Three orders in an hour. Will we see it? We need exactly three. There's one. Red sauce, peppers. There's the USO again. Mushroom, spinach, and onions, the USO. Always gotta remember. Oh my god. Do we have it? One more order. There it is. Alright, so we can't get any more. Only chores from this point forward. That's so far so good. Oh, the soup ruins it. The soup ruins the perfect number. Oh my goodness, there it is. That's terrible. <laughs> no, man. One away. One away from perfection. Oh, you bastard game. They did it on purpose. You know they did. They knew how excited I was. All of us were. 70 combo, though. Alright. It's quite alright. Get a nice bonus from the silver ticket bet. Another perfect day, 250 bucks. Very good. $581. Make a grand total of 3072 plus the 250 we just got. New catering job available as well. And a new item. Ooh, the daily special is finally available to purchase. That's very good. Very, very good. Alright, so we're gonna take off the food route here. There we go. I'm gonna check out the uh, I'm gonna check out the catering option first here. So we need pretzels, corn dogs, and lasagna. Let's see which one of those I do not have yet. Probably corn dogs, I would imagine. Maybe even both corn dogs and lasagna. Or uh, corn dogs and pretzels. Yep. Alright. Well, I can buy both of these. Zuda so have to eventually uh, complete all these catering menu options, so. Might as well do it now. So there's that. We'll go ahead and do. Uh, go ahead and do the catering right now. Then we'll come back and probably purchase the daily special. So here we go. Put out a survey for what kind of foods people want for our next employee application party, and the results are over all over the place. So I'm mixing it up and giving them what they didn't ask for. It'll be great. <laughs> Just serve at least 16 people perfectly this time, with no more than three bad orders, and I'll pay the $25 per person. All right. We got a lot of uh, really simple stuff going down today. Everybody's getting not what they wanted. That's fantastic. Oh look, he, this guy's wearing a uh, a pretzel on his on his body, a pretzel balloon animal. I think I just messed up that lasagna. Dang it! Hopefully not. Catch up on the red dog. Lasagna is kind of an interesting add-on to these three. Does it mean like pretzels and corn dogs together? That I guess makes a little bit of sense. That's like standard fare at your local. Uh, your local ballpark your concession stand is offering that stuff, but you throw a lasagna in there, that means I gotta get like a full-fledged oven inside of that little booth. They don't have room in those things, man. You see how cramped the workers are? They got like three feet and then their break room is a stool in the corner. That's just it's just crappy living conditions already. You throw you throw a full-sized oven there in, in there to be making lasagna for people at a ballpark. That's just 
That's just not gonna work out. You got unions developing after you do that shit. You know, you don't want to deal with ballpark unions, man. It's not fun. Just making, making things interesting with the slip slappity slaps here today. We might actually make a decent amount of money off of this. I might uh, completely recoup my costs for purchasing both of these menu items. I'd only need to get $700, I guess, so... Really not that tough. In fact, we might already have that. If I can do math, that'd be cool. That's completely unrelated. I'd just like to be able to do math. That'd be really nice. Great addition to my life. There we go. Just give me a bunch of simple stuff, please, right at the end here. I want to be able to send these out. Make the money off them. There we go. Uh, just salt on this one. Oh, cook that lasagna fast. Uh, oh, I got them both. Nice. Sweet. $900. All right, so we actually made a $200 pro profit off of that. Pretty good. We're definitely going to buy the daily special now as well. Hail to the yes. Get that equipment going. Upgrade an active menu slot to the daily special slot. Customers order daily specials more frequently, and changing your daily special every day gains a 5% buzz boost. Awesome. All right. So what's our, uh, what's our silver ticket bet today? Chicken, fries, and ice cream. We can probably do that, actually. Might be worthwhile. $679. Let's do that one. That could be fun. Chicken, fries, and ice cream. We'll make ice cream the daily special today as well. Or maybe not. Oh, uh-oh. Hmm. Let's take a uh, pizza off real fast. Need fries on the menu. And uh, we need chicken, too. So we're going to take the burgers off. Go like this. Hmm. Buzz is kind of suffering, but... Probably worthwhile. All right, that'll be our objective. Next time here in Cook, Serve, Delicious. Thanks so much for watching this episode, everybody. Leave a like if you're enjoying it. I appreciate that a lot. Helps quite a bit. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.